The name Peros Dimas really needs no introduction. He is one of the greatest weightlifters of our time. He's a three-time Olympic gold medalist, one-time bronze, three-time world champion, and he's currently the director of the United States weightlifting team. It's a wonder why it has taken anyone so long to produce a barbell in his name, but leave it to Rogue to come up with one in spectacular fashion. It carries a lot of the same features that some of the other Rogue weightlifting barbells have on them, but it has Pyrrhus' signature refinements, it has a dope looking end cap, and of course, it has the name Pyrrhus Demas behind it. So with the build quality and construction, I gave this barbell a six out of six. Typical Rogue fashion, this is one of the best built barbells that I've ever owned. The shaft is a 200k PSI tensile strength stainless steel shaft, so there's no coating to it. it offers a really, really good grip because it just feels like bare steel. The machining of the knurl is perfect. The sleeves of this barbell have a chrome coating because the metal to metal contact from the bumper plates can cause oxidation over time. There are five needle bearings per sleeve that have a more subdued spin compared to the other Rogue weightlifting barbells, and that's per Pyros' request. The original batch of barbells had an issue with the center knurling being too aggressive, but Rogue's customer service is top notch. They took care of it. They replaced all of the barbells that had originally went out free of charge, free of shipping, so I'm not gonna take away any points as far as build quality goes there. The build quality of this barbell is really second to none and you wouldn't expect anything less from something that had Paris Demas' name on it. I gave the Norling a 5 out of 6 on this barbell, not because it was machined improperly or anything, but because I just personally prefer the Norling on the EU bar and the standard Rogue weightlifting bars a little bit better. This Norling is a little bit more aggressive in comparison to the normal Rogue weightlifting or Rogue EU barbells, but that might be from it being a stainless steel shaft and not having any kind of coating. Either way, it's a little bit more aggressive than the other barbells which I like better. Not to say that this knurling is bad or anything, it's just all personal preference. Either way, the cut is flawless. The center knurling that has been corrected is excellent, doesn't tear up your neck or anything, provides excellent grip. The knurling compared to the Aleco NXG or the Klokov equipment is going to be a little bit less aggressive compared to the American Barbell SS Competition Bar. The knurling is going to be more aggressive I want to say that the most comparable knurling that I can compare this barbell to would be the Yusaka competition bar, which I heard he's a big fan of. For spin, I gave this barbell a 5 out of 6, once again because I just prefer the spin of the Rogue EU and the standard Rogue weightlifting barbells over the Paris' more controlled spin. Don't worry, the spin of this barbell is still plenty fast, it's extremely smooth and extremely accurate. There's just something about a more free spinning bar that I just enjoy a little bit more. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the Paris bar's spin. And under most people's standards, it's going to be plenty fine. No one's gonna ever complain about this barbell locking up or seizing over time because it definitely spins really, really well. I just prefer the other barbells to the Pyros bars. For whip, I gave this barbell a six out of six. It's got a 28 millimeter diameter shaft that is pretty much right on the money. The metallurgy of the steel is the same found from the Rogue Elephant bar they used at the Arnold a couple years ago. The shaft strength is 200 kpsi tensile strength. It is a stainless steel shaft. That should not affect the way that the barbell whips at all, but it should not bend or break under any kind of normal circumstances. The bar starts going around 100 kilos. More advanced or elite weightlifters are probably going to notice the amount of whip this barbell has more. Beginners and intermediates are probably not gonna really notice it all that much, but really probably won't have the skill to even utilize it. For value, I gave this barbell a five out of six. It does retail for $695 with free shipping, and that by no means is a cheap barbell. But chances are, if you're looking at this barbell, then you're pretty serious about weightlifting, and you know that you do have to spend a little bit more money to get a really 
well-performing barbell that is gonna last you for a really long time. You have to ask yourself what you're getting with the Pyrus bar over some of the other really good barbells in the same pricing category. First off, you're getting the Rogue and Pyrus Demas name and that undeniable Rogue resale value if you ever decide to get rid of this barbell. Also, the build quality from Rogue Fitness Equipment is excellent. It's second to none and it does have the lifetime warranty. The knurling of this barbell is going to be medium compared to the Alico NXG or the Vulcan Absolute or the Klokov Equipment barbells. The spin of this barbell is probably going to be the worst out of all the barbells that I've listed because of the more controlled spin. I'd say it's probably a little bit more in line with the American Barbell SS Competition barbell. The stainless steel coating is one of the best against oxidation. The only other two had that have that are the SS Competition from American Barbell, which is a little bit less in price, and the Vulcan Absolute, which is, I think, a little bit more in price. All of which are really, really good barbells, so it really makes picking between them like splitting hairs. But at the end of the day, you get the Rogue Fitness name, customer service, and of course, you've got the legendary Pyros Demas name behind this barbell as well. All in all, this is one of the best barbells that I've ever used. I have no regrets spending $700 on this barbell, and I'll probably keep it forever and ever and ever. And it's probably going to last me forever and ever and ever. If you guys have any questions about the Pyros barbell, feel free to leave them in the comment section. As always, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.